This is code.org, and I see some code. I'm going to hit run. What are we, keeping track of water, it looks like? Oh, it's going through some stuff here. Might speed this up just for testing purposes. So, zero cups. Okay, let me drink some water. Ooh, ooh, it made a sound. One cup. Okay, so that added eight ounces. That makes sense. A cup's eight ounces. All right, and if it, yep, keeps going. How about a bottle? I'm going to drink a bottle of water. Hmm, just made a sound. That doesn't do anything. What if I go for a run? No workouts. Running is hard. Weights? Okay, well, that's suspect. All right, this program che keeps track of how hydrated you are. There are variables already created that store the amount of water you gain by drinking a cup. There are. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, right here, guys. Var cup is equal to 8. Okay, so that's the variable they're using. We're saying a cup, which makes sense, is 8 ounces. Okay. Or a bottle. Or lose by... Oh, yeah, okay. So they also have a variable for... And a bottle is 32 ounces of water. Apparently, if we run, we're going to lose 24 ounces of water. And weights mean we lose 16 ounces of water. All right. Okay. And on the event, this is why... Now, we can actually do a bit of... We can watch this. If I slow this down, right? Because when you click on something, an event is getting triggered. So the cup button... Well, I'm assuming that's the cup. And what will happen is when I click on this, on the event the cup is clicked... Cups consumed. Where is that at? Uh, oh, way up here. So this is what we're using to keep track of how much water we've actually had. So does it start? Yep. Starts at zero, right? Starts at zero. And then as we... Oh, let me get the initial run through done. And then as we click on it, it should update here. And what does this mean on line 14? So on the event that we click on the cup button, this must run. Cups consumed has to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to plus one. So right now it looks like it's zero plus one. Now we also add to water and bam, they both update. Okay, so cups consumed is equal to what it used to be equal to plus one. Total water is going to be equal to what it used to be equal to. And we start with 100 uh, ounces of water in our body. Sure. Plus cup. And the computer says, what the heck is cup? Schmack. Oh, it's eight. So initially, that's 100 plus 8. And none of this will change, right? We have to ask the computer to change the screen. So just because these values are updated, we would never, ever see it unless we also say, hey, update the screen to reflect these changes. Okay, so that's looking good. All right, with that in mind, what are we doing here? Run the code, see how it works. Use the code for the cup button as a guide. Add code to make the bottle running and weights button work. The bottle button should increase the amount of water and increase the number of cups. Okay, running button should decrease total amount of water and increase the number of workouts. Awesome. All right, so for now, let's see. If this is going to be our guide, perfect. That's a great guide. Let's use our resources. They're literally telling us that. So I'm in text mode, I'm going to highlight all this, and I'm just going to do copy. Now, everything within cups, we're going to have to change some of it. Oh, did I get, no, nah, I don't want the sound. I'll just copy that for now. I even grabbed the comment, that's fine. Now let me go down here, I guess I'm on line 24, and I'm going to right click and hit paste. Now we have to change this, right? So for the bottle, now cups consumed, wheel. If a bottle is, let's see, they say a bottle is 32 ounces. Well, a cup is 8 ounces. So, what times 8 gives you 32? Or, 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Watcha. Cool. All right. So, now, when I click on the bottle, we're going to increase the cup count by 4, right? And then, and keep in mind, it's not going to show down down here. And then, total water will be equal to total water plus cup. Nope, because this would mean it's going to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to plus 8. That is not what we want. We want it to be equal to what it used to be equal to plus bottle. And keep in mind, guys, we're not using var again. We've already declared these up here. These already have values. We're just adjusting their values as we run the program. Then what do we do? We... Update the screen, the water label, which, let me hit reset, shockingly, water label is this guy, and we say, hey, computer, go grab this. Now, 
change the text to be total water. What's total water? Well, it's what we just changed. So whatever amount that is after adding our bottle, our 32 ounces to it, and then throw the string, the two letters OZ on the end. So give me that number, throw OZ on the end, and then cups consumed, same deal here. We just added four cups to it, then throw cups on the end and update this. Now for weights, weights is the, and running is a bit different. They want us to subtract. So let me go back to block mode since this is a bit of a change up. Let's head over to variables. And again, we don't need var. It's not going to be var. We already have these declared and made up here. So I'm just going to be dragging out which equals equals because I know I'm going to change two different things. And what am I going to change? Wheel. They said it looks like cups. Yep. Decrease total water. So cups is staying the same. I guess we're just tracking how many cups we have, regardless of if we uh, work out and lose some. So total water, though, would still be equal to, let me head over to math. It's going to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to. Oh, and I am already messing up. So I hope you're grumpy because I'm doing things wrong. Mr. Carter. All right. It needs to be a minus. Total water is going to be equal to whatever total water used to be equal to. But now we're working out. I know it's it's difficult. It's difficult. Take it slow. But what are we doing? We're running. So, oh yeah, they already gave us. Yep. Here's the variable running. So we're going to subtract 24. I guess that's all sweat, which is fun. Ugh, running's rough. I kind of like running. You don't need to know that. I mean, I don't like it. Let's get back to this. Um, all right. Total water minus 24. Cool. And now we need workouts. Yeah, if we're going to work out, do we have a variable? Look how kind they are right there. So we're going to do workouts is equal to workouts plus one. Cool. All right. Now keep in mind, this doesn't change a thing. This doesn't work at all. Except it does. It absolutely does. We just can't see it. Get this up for testing purposes. See, it does change here, but we're not updating the screen yet. We have to set the properties. So I'm going to follow their lead here. Boop. I'm going to get rid of this extra block. It doesn't really matter, but it bugs me. Okay. And then what do we want to set? Well, let me hover over. Workouts is, oh yeah, it's exercise label. So let me hit the little down arrow -y thing. Exercise label. The text, not text color, text. It's going to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to. Nope. Let's see what we did here. Oh, all right. So I need to delete all of this. I like to use the arrow keys and get behind the last quote because sometimes I can fight you and kill it off that way or lightly delete it that way. And let's throw a plus in here. And now what do we need here? Well, if this is going to be the workouts. I'm going to say workouts, right? Plus now I need in quotes because I want to retain this word. So I'm going to do a space. Otherwise, it's smashed up against it. Workouts. And make sure to close your quote. Otherwise, the computer is not kind. Okay, that's looking good. And then the other thing we want to do, actually, I'm going to get, yes, is water label. Water label is going to be text. And then it's going to be the same thing as up here. So total water plus and then in quotes oz and close quote i'm not going to put a space here because they didn't up here so i'll follow their pattern cool all right so now does run work yeah look at that workout uh oh wait a minute why isn't total water what did i do exercise label weights button oh that would that would be an issue total water or wait what is it actually called Water label. Okay, so the computer didn't know what it was trying to update because I did it wrong. It happens. <laughs> Boom. Cool. All right. And we know weights is almost the same, but not quite. Oh. So what weights has, notice I put a 24 here. This is what we call bad practice. So I don't need to put the 24 here. We already have it set way up here. And if we have a variable with that number already assigned, it's a really good idea to set it down here to go ahead and make use of that all right so let's go ahead and go now to show text and i know weights is going to be the same so i'm just going to copy i guess it's line 35 through 38 for me total water workout set property boom 
And now I'm going to head down, for me it's line 44, right click, and then do a paste. On a Mac, that's command uh, click. I'm just going to format a bit, show the box. Okay, now all we have to change since we're using our handy dandy variables is instead of running, we're going to need to subtract weights water. And drink water, drink more water, go work out. Oh, it's so tough. Don't work out. I mean, run. <laughs> Click the wrong thing. Woohoo! Hey, hey, this is pretty fancy. And guys, keep in mind, order of execution, right? So you might be like, huh, well, I put this here and mine runs great. Yeah, that's fine, right? You might have the math statements in a bit of a different order. You just need to have these updating before we ask the screen to update. So code, it's not always precisely exactly this one thing perfect. It might be a little different, but the goal is that it executes appropriately. Looking good. Now I'm going to go work out or drink water. Why isn't there like eat a cupcake on here? Meh. Oh, well. Onward.